The amount of absolute evil that is the Gabby Hanna fan base is just baffling. Anybody who says that they love Gabby Hanna or they even have a passing like for Gabby Hanna is just ridiculous at this point in time. You want to know why it's ridiculous at this point in time? Because Gabby does crap like this. Take a listen to this clip that I found on Twitter. User's name will be in the clip, so take a look at this. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Is that I'm pregnant and it's not even like, oh, I'm pregnant, please pity me. Like, I'm fucking pregnant, Gabby. I just had a miscarriage in January. I'm halfway done with my pregnancy and I looked at my husband and I'm like, I haven't even enjoyed it. I don't deserve to have to be addressing this topic anymore. I left you alone for a year and you plotted a fucking series to follow through with your blackmail from last summer. I don't want to deal with you any. Jesse had a M carriage. I'm not going to say the actual word. Jesse is pregnant again and she's not able to enjoy her pregnancy. How can you, how can anybody in their right mind, I know I had some fun with the last video and, and making fun of the whole thing of Jesse Smiles is creep show art because that was stupid. But then once I looked at the uh, Gabby Hanna's over party hashtag, and then I also looked at the, um, what else did I look at? What else did I look at? Oh yeah. I also looked at the, um, the Gabby Hanna tags and the, Apologize to Jesse Smiles tags. I, I saw this. I saw this. This is a more serious video. So this is that last one was making me, me making fun of it again. This one is me saying how stupid anybody can be for even joking about Jesse being bad in any way, shape, or form in this situation. Gabby, one user on Twitter made a very, very good point. Take a listen to this. They said, I'm blown away that Gabby posted the three hour call and said that only names and story related to her own trauma were cut out. And then she proceeds to use Jesse's trauma for her own content. What a freaking hypocrite. And here's the thing. It's, it's not shocking to me that Gabby's this big old hypocrite. It's not shocking to me. Another person literally right under the first one said, seven minutes into the video and Gabby is literally acting like a narcissist. I can't believe I used to watch her a few years ago. Apologize to Jesse Smiles. Here's the thing, guys. I had a passing like for Gabby Hanna. I had a passing, passing like. Just occasionally used to like her. But then when she became a really gross YouTuber, actually would do these house cleaning videos, become really, really gross. Not having cleaned her bathroom in years, not having cleaned her air ducts in years. I'm a sloppy person, I'm a messy person, but I clean my room at, at the very least once every five years. More frequently than that, but still. And then I just stopped watching her because she was just so nasty. And now this Jesse Smiles stuff comes out. And I'm like, what the hell? To me, this is all horrendous. This is all awful. Gabby is being the world's worst human being. Like, okay second worst human being because nobody can be as bad as Jay as, as Onision. but for me this whole situation you need to leave Jesse alone harassing Jesse bothering Jesse Jesse telling you she wants to be left alone and you refusing to leave her alone you you going after her when she has told you she has a family member in the hospital she has more important crap to deal with, Gabby, than your dumbass. And you refuse to leave this woman alone. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I, I just don't get it. I don't get people who act like this. It's awful. It's horrible. 
It's some of the, the most disrespectful shit you could ever do is harass somebody who's going through a bad time. And I, I, the reason I can relate to this so much is not because I can relate to every little thing that Jesse's going through. It's because right now I'm going through, and I'm not trying to make this about me, I'm just trying to relate to the situation and why I keep making videos about this. I'm going through massive depression through personal issues of my own. And if some idiot like Gabby Hanna was to constantly come and harass me time and time again, go after me time and time again, and refuse to leave me alone, I would be furious. And my issues are nowhere near as bad as Jesse's. So for Jesse to have this shit going on in her life, Gabby acting like a narcissistic baby, calling everyone else bullies when she's clearly the one bullying everyone else. No, dude. No. That's not how this stuff works. That's not how this, this stuff goes. You're the bully, Gabby. You're the awful human being, and you need to just shut up and stop it. You've been plotting this for years. She's been asking you to leave her alone for years. I just don't get people who act like this. This is just horrendous. This is horrible. And it needs to stop. There is a petition. People have a petition. And it's not going to go anywhere. Because trust me. Sorry about the vibration. It's my phone. Trust me. It's not going to go anywhere. Because if YouTube still has Onision on the thing. Then they will have Gabby Hannah. But 17,000, we all know change.org petitions are shit. They are. They ne- they hardly ever go anywhere. But there's a change.org petition that has currently 17,279 people. And people keep signing the petition. They're getting to 25,000. People don't like you, Gabby. But you don't care. You don't care. I'm going to end this video by taking a look at her last tweet. Her last tweet. And her last tweet is... Just more drama. Every... She says this. Every single time... Someone accuses me of something. People make the Bianca story an issue again. That is why the video was made. Kim has never expressed to me until today that she wanted me to post the video because she felt I was owed an apology. I never asked for one. Your actions are making it seem like you want an apology, Gabby. I don't even know who Kim is. I literally just picked one of her tweets that made her sound like she was crying victim because I wanted to point this out. I don't even know who Kim is. But you are demanding apologies, dude. That's exactly what you're doing. Your whole life is, give me an apology. I'm fishing for an apology because if you were not looking for an apology, you would not make this series. You would not be doing this shit. You would not be coming out and making these videos about Joey Graceffa, all these other people, and constantly harassing Jesse Smiles for no reason. One of the most offensive things I've ever seen in my entire life was this idiot. The idiot in my last video that I talked about. The idiot who's so hell-bent in defending Gabby Hanna because I said that she was an uh, R.A.P.E. apologist. And he said to me this, someone who claims a victim of R.A.P.E. is the one at fault for an, an A.S.S. A.U.L.T. most commonly using B.S. excuses such as they shouldn't have been dressed so revealing un ur, ur, urban dictionary he uses urban dictionary which is ridiculous how does she fit that i said actions speak louder than words and also not everyone acts the same so your point is kind of shite and it is you simply doing the things not calling curtis out being with curtis having pictures with curtis doing things with curtis all this other stuff 
that and then using Jesse's trauma against her that is you that is you being an art apologist so don't give me that crap I'm done with this video right now I'm probably going to have to change pitch down my voice so my family's voices aren't heard because I want to make sure that the anonymity is there but I want to make sure that Jesse knows that I support her I am a neutral party in this, fully on Jesse's side. I'm just saying I'm a neutral party for the simple fact that I've never been a fan of Jesse Smiles' video content. I will con constantly say that. I'm not a Jesse Smiles stan. I just feel bad for her. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you have a blessed day. Take care and God bless. Peace out, everybody.